Sheffield. Sheffield. This is your city of Sheffield calling you. Calling you personally. Whatever your trade, whatever your job, all of you. Calling you as you go your way up and down the streets of Sheffield. Calling you in that crowd at Hillsborough. Wherever you are and whatever you're doing, calling you. This is Sheffield calling. Why? I'll tell you why. Look at this. That's what happened to Sheffield last time. And make no mistake, no one can stop it happening again if another war starts. It looks peaceful enough now. Well, it looked peaceful before 1939. Maybe you think it won't happen again. Like to bet on it? No, and nobody else would either. Perhaps you've been reading the papers or listening to the radio. There never seems to be any reason why we shouldn't have peace if we want it. Unfortunately, the same applies to war, whether we want it or not. And if it comes, you know what to expect. Look at them. Thousands of planes, the sky full of them. You won't know where they've come from. You may not know they're coming until they arrive, but you can bet they won't be British, and they won't be on a goodwill visit either. Thousands of them, and it only needs one to drop an atomic bomb. Maybe you're wondering what all this has to do with you. Maybe you think that if it comes, it comes. And that's all there is about it. Yeah. But is it? There's a good few thousands up and down the country, men and women, who think differently. If it comes, they're the ones who are going to be able to do something about it. And you ought to be one of them. There are plenty of jobs, plenty of variety, plenty of friendly social relaxation in good canteens as well as days of healthy training out in the open air. Look at it this way. You don't need reminding what it's like. Maybe you think you had enough of it last time. Well, everybody did. But that's not going to stop the man who starts it next time. Oh, I know, it's happened before. But don't forget, it can very well happen again. And then, where are you in that lot? Are you one of the crowd with no idea of what to do or how to do it? Or are you the man who knows the answers? The man in control? The man everybody looks to, to tell them what to do? The man who beats the bombs? Is someone else going to look after your wife and children if they're lucky? Or are you going to be in the position to do it yourself? Which is it to be? One insignificant unit in the crowd doing what you're told? Or this man, it's up to you. But it's up to you now, not when the trouble starts. Maybe you're one of those who say you'll be there on the day the trouble begins. You never made a greater mistake in your life. This is teamwork. There'll be no job for you if you wait till then. You won't be on the team. You won't even be a passenger. You'll be nothing but a nuisance. and you'll find yourself shepherded here and there with the crowds, doing what you're told, or else. That's where you'll be, just one of those. But as if you'd any sense, you'd be one of these. Which would you rather see yourself doing? Drifting aimlessly with the crowd, or on the job? Which will you want to think you were afterwards? The man in control, or one of the mob? But remember, it's now you've got to make up your mind. It's no good waiting till this starts all over again, and it may. But remember something else. The more people like you, men and women, there are training to deal with it, the less likely it is to start. It's the countries that aren't ready that get attacked, not those that are. That's the answer. The man or woman who's trained 
ready, in control. That can be you. Isn't that how you'd rather think of yourself? And it's not only a matter of personal pride either. The man or woman who has been trained to deal with an emergency is much more likely to come through it. Which is it to be? It's up to you. Training? That's easy. One hour a week, that's all. Uniform, various allowances. But you can find out all about that from the civil defense men in the entrance to this cinema. Enroll as you go out. Sign on the dotted line. What you get? You get the comradeship of those who are going to be the leaders when the trouble starts, because you'll be one of them. You get a new way of looking at the crowds in the streets, because if the bombs start dropping, you're the one they're going to look up to. You get confidence in yourself, and you'll get something else. A better opinion of yourself, because you're on the team. Sheffield is calling you. Sheffield is relying on you. This call is urgent. And it is a call to you, you who are sitting there in your seat listening to me. Train for service with the civil defense and make war less likely. Do not fail Sheffield. Do not fail them.